The Last of Us is a game set in an apocalyptic world ravaged by a fungal virus that turns people into, well, zombies. This video is going to break through some of my current traditions or patterns as I have some ulterior motives for doing this one. I recently went through my first year anniversary of streaming on Twitch, so I decided to look through some of my old clips of stuff and noticed that this was the first game I completed on stream. The date which I finished was in fact June 16th, the day this will be uploaded, and it's also Father's Day, so why not talk about a game that features a beloved father figure in video games? Before we get started, I do want to mention my Twitch channel, SlothLord1995. If you want to see my trials and tribulations, then I have many highlights accessible from the page. And if you want to see all my future endeavors, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10.30pm Eastern Time. With that out of the way, let's begin the review. So I think I have no other place to start other than the story. It is just a fantastic journey filled with some truly cinematic moments that can be breathtaking. Avoiding spoilers, all I'm going to say is that you play as a grizzled old man named Joel, who is kind of goals to be honest. And he's accompanied by a few noteworthy characters, but the only one I'm going to mention is Ellie, who's a young but very sarcastic individual. It is up to Joel to escort Ellie to a kind of guerrilla force named the Fireflies. The story has so many twists and turns, and it's very easy to follow and get invested into. It spans through the better part of a year, so you're put into all sorts of different climates and weather, which adds a lot to the progression. You know, not just being in the same types of environments over and over again. Now let's talk about the aforementioned characters. You meet a variety of people, and each one has a great influence in the story as well as character development, and if there's one thing to say about this game, is that the characters are very well developed. Obviously, one of the main selling points of the game is the dynamic between our two main leads, Joel and Ellie. The relationship that these two have is very complex, but eventually you can feel that they have, for the most part, became a family. Plus, with Joel being grumpy and Ellie being more snarky, it makes some good laughs in a very bleak world. Although, maybe bleak isn't the best way to describe it after all. Some of my favorite moments are when you're outside and you see that not only zombies are hating humanity, but so is the rest of the world as it slowly reclaims the territories once controlled by men. All the life that springs up in the form of wildflowers and trees is so peaceful and frankly beautiful, it's almost a shame how much the game is spent indoors. Maybe I should take this sentiment and practice it myself and explore the vibrant world around me. However, I must admit, I don't think the game is perfect. In fact, my least favorite part is the combat, specifically when you're in shootouts with other people. Fighting the zombies is way more interesting, but not as frequent. And it's not that the mechanics are bad, it's just not something I myself had a lot of fun doing. Especially the shootouts with people, because there's less types of them in comparison to the zombies, so it can get repetitive. I hope to see more versatile gameplay in part 2. There is also a heavy reliance on stealth, and I feel like between these two it's just kind of a necessary evil to fill the game so it's not just a movie. Part of the difficulty of this game really boils down to resources. If you don't pick things up, you have nothing to craft or shoot, which isn't bad, it's just a way to fill the game. Also, while we are on the subject of gameplay, it can be a very push this button here type of game. This is something I don't personally care much about. I don't hate the mechanic, but I'm also never impressed by it. I think it's attempt to make it feel interactive, but it doesn't quite do that for me. I'm not sure if this will be returning with the next game, but if it does come back, I hope they at least make it more intuitive and smoother. It hardly seemed consistent in the first game. Overall, I really, really like this game. It stresses me out in every way it needed to, and my complaints are very minimal going to be giving this an 8 out of 10. If you like my review, then please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. And if you didn't, then feel free to tell me what you think about it. I'm Slothlord, signing off.